Hey everyone, Doug here with Life is Shirty. I uh, got another sales update for you. Uh, it's been a couple weeks. Um, just showing you my uh, my my seller hub here. Um, I'd like to get this number <clears throat> up to about 2,000. Uh, the last 31 days number. Uh, I've been ramping it up the past couple weeks. Uh, feeling a lot better since I was in the hospital and had my surgery and everything. I fully recovered, so I'm back into the swing of things. And uh, I'm looking to uh, really increase my sales here and get this number back up to 2,000. Uh, once again, this is me doing it part time. I work about 12 hours a week on this stuff, and um, so this is the result you get from about 12 hours. You know, $429 in sales the last seven days, which isn't isn't that bad. It's a little extra cash helps me pay off some things. Um, but uh, I am sourcing a lot differently now. I'm being pickier on my decisions that I make when outsourcing. And I'll probably make another video on exactly what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And it's because I'm a part-timer, uh, meaning I just want to get the best uh, return out of my uh, sourcing. So, but without any further delay, let's move right into the sales. Um, here you can see a Diamond Supply Company t-shirt. These are very uh, popular t-shirts, very trendy. Um, I put this one on $9.99 opening bid and it sold for $26.69 and I paid a dollar for the shirt. Uh, <clears throat> the buyer paid shipping. So good return there. Next is a brand I'm going to keep uh, you know, branding into your, into your brain is Peter Millar. If you see any dress shirts uh, short sleeve dress shirts like this one or polo shirts, uh, pick them up. You can sell them from anywhere from $20 to $35. I probably went a little low on this one, but uh, I'm still happy with that return. I think I paid $2 for the shirt. Next is a vintage uh, cardigan baseball letterman sweater. It's from the 50s to the 60s. It's got a uh, acrylic and wool blend. Um, very cool. I uh, paid five dollars for it. Um, wasn't sure the exact year, but I put fifties or sixties. People are fine with that. It's almost impossible to peg down that exact year. Um, but it sold for seventy nine ninety nine plus uh, five ninety nine shipping. So very happy with that return. Next, I started looking at uh, vintage swim shorts, and I came across these: uh, the Izod Lacoste. Uh, it's got the alligator. Um, these are from the late 70s, early 80s. Kind of reminds me of uh, uh, National Lampoon's European, or the Wally World. When we're just National Lampoon's Vacation, they're all wearing Izod and Lacoste in that, in that movie. Um, <clears throat> but these were a good return. I paid $2 for the shorts, and uh, they sold for $35 uh, free shipping. And they were very light, very easy to ship. I think they cost like 260 to ship. So uh, awesome return there. And I'm going to keep looking for vintage swim shorts. I think in my last video I sold some vintage shorts as well. So those are working out for me. <clears throat> Next you've seen me talk about uh, this guy right here. University of Mississippi is about 60 miles south of Memphis. So uh, we get, we find a lot of the school's apparel here in the thrift stores and this guy, the colonel that I'm moving my mouse around, he does not exist anymore. I mean, he does in the hearts of Ole Miss Rebel fans, but he uh, has been banned from being the school's mascot. So the traditionalists and the, the alumni, they love apparel that still has the colonel on it. So anytime I see apparel with the colonel on it, I pick it up. And this was an easy sale. It was listed uh, not, even, not even a full day and sold for $45.00. Uh, plus 610 uh, shipping. So that was a great return. I think I paid like $5 for the sweatshirt. Next, this has kind of got a little cool story with it. This happens to be the fastest item I've ever sold. I listed it, and within like 45 seconds, it was sold. I wasn't even able to start on my next listing yet, and it had sold already. So that was really awesome. I don't know why it sold so fast. It's just a vintage t-shirt from the 70s early 80s uh, from a like a like a like a bait shop off the boat ramp in Millington Tennessee 
I uh, have no idea why it sold so quick. It sold to somebody in Oregon. Thirty dollars plus three ninety nine shipping. Again, this was the fastest item I've ever sold. Um, I've sold some fast before, but uh, I didn't expect this one to go as fast as it did. Next is a polo by Ralph Lauren. Still have the tags on it. It's a uh, dip dyed series that they did. It's got a marlin or a swordfish here on the side. Um, still have the tags. I paid ten bucks for it, but it sold for thirty nine ninety nine uh, free shipping. <clears throat> Next, this should give you an idea of some of the t-shirts I pick up. Um, it's got a nice scenery on it. It's from Pigeon Forge, Tennessee in the um, probably late 80s, early 90s. And it stayed listed for about two weeks, sold for $18, uh, free shipping. And these are the tags you need to look for, like this Fruit of the Loom, the best, this black tag. It's 50% cotton, 50% poly. Uh, these tags were around in the very late 80s to early to mid 90s. So a uh, great sale there. I paid a dollar for the shirt. Next, I've got a Harley Davidson button up shirt. Uh, it's got Harley Davidson on the back. It says 105 years on it from 1903 to 2008. Um, if you look close, it's got a zipper on the pocket. It's got a nice Harley Davidson emblem. It was a 2XL. This did not stay in the store long. It sold for $40 plus $6.10 shipping. Next, and much like the Colonel Reb that I told you about, uh, Memphis State University does not exist anymore. It is now the University of Memphis. So uh, much like Colonel Reb uh, with Ole Miss, uh, the traditionalists at the University of Memphis love finding apparel that has Memphis State on it still. So anytime I see it, I'll pick it up, and it usually sells really well. This one sold for $32 plus $3.99 shipping. <clears throat> Next is a vintage 90s Lamode. I know you've probably seen these before. Now these Lamode shirts will sell by themselves uh, for around 13, 14, 15 bucks if you find them because they are vintage from the 90s and people like that and they had this nice little flip down pocket. Uh, but this one had the Peabody Memphis on it, the historic Peabody Hotel in downtown Memphis as a uh, <clears throat> been around for quite some time and they have a famous duck walk where they have ducks that walk uh, from a room uh, to uh, a fountain and it's a tradition here in Memphis and it's something if you ever stay at the Peabody something you definitely need to check out so I uh, found this uh, polo shirt that said the Peabody Memphis on it picked it up sold for $20 plus $3.99 shipping Next, we've got a vintage Reebok uh, from the 90s, the 90s uh, polo shirt, Carolina Panthers on it. Uh, <clears throat> it's beige. I don't even know what to call this background on it, but it didn't matter. It stayed listed for about three or four days. Uh, the buyer paid $25 for it, plus $3.99 shipping. So people love their vintage Reebok and their vintage NFL gear. Uh, so make sure you keep an eye on that. Uh, the next item I'm going to show you is just kind of something that's surprising me and I wanted to show you uh, with me doing vintage t-shirts. I've really studied and tried to learn how to <clears throat> how I can pick out the older t-shirts even in undershirts. This is a undershirt from the 70s, just a plain white basic t-shirt and the bidding is up to $21. Uh, with an hour and 20 minutes left on it. I know it's not sold yet, but it will be. But it's something I wanted to include in this video just because it's kind of baffling me why somebody would pay $21 for an undershirt. I don't care what year it's from. <laughs> but, you know, nonetheless, they haven't paid for it. You know, that still is to be seen whether or not they pay for it. Uh, maybe this person overbid. They didn't mean to. I don't know. I'll let you guys know on the next video whether or not the t-shirt sold. But right now, with an hour and 20 minutes to go, it has 12 bids on it. I started at 99 cents and is up to $21. It's just a very cool, little odd little uh, auction I got going on here. And last but not least, this was 
uh, my holy grail find of the past few weeks. <clears throat> I found a vintage Nike shirt from the 70s. Now, you've heard me say 70s, 80s. I wasn't able to pin it down. Well, I was able to pin this one down. Um, so this tag right here is definitely from the late 70s. So this is where you got to learn your tags. And it really paid off for this one because at first glance, this just looks like a regular Nike shirt. Nothing special about it. You look at the tag. It's from the 70s. It's 50 polyester, 38 cotton, 12 rayon. It's really, really soft. It was paper thin. And this was in absolute perfect condition. I was a little overzealous and listed this at $175. I saw one on eBay that it sold for $150, but it had stains and a couple holes on it. In it, so uh, I went ahead and listed this for $175, and within about three or four hours, I'd had four different people throwing offers back at and forth at me, and I went back and forth with this one guy, and uh, he finally accepted an offer of $140. <clears throat> so this particular T-shirt, I paid $1.59 for it at Goodwill. Um, I put it in a padded flat rate mailer just to make sure it got there in good condition. So I paid six ten to ship it. After fees and everything, I came out on top uh, of a profit of about $122 on this t-shirt. So this was my holy grail t-shirt find of the last few weeks. And uh, I was very excited about it. Needed, needed the money, you know. So um, just when you think things are kind of like, you know, steady and kind of, You've kind of hit your peak and you haven't found anything worth big money in quite a while. I came up on this t-shirt and, uh, man, it was awesome. Awesome finding it. So um, these are the things that keep me doing this. And uh, um, So this is what I do part-time. Like I say, I work 12 to 15 hours a week doing eBay, sourcing, listing, taking pictures. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to make another video on... Uh, I kind of broke down like how much I make hourly doing this and is and are some of the shirts that I'm listing really worth my time, especially doing this part time. If I'm doing it part time, I want to minimize my hours and maximize my profit. So I'm going to make a video on some of the numbers I came up uh, after I sat down and worked them out as far as doing this part time. Um, but that's my sales video. Um, not doing them every week. I'm only going to be doing them every two or three weeks now. I've got a couple ideas for other videos, maybe a haul video, uh, maybe bring some t-shirts home and show you what I've sourced and what I've picked up. Uh, but for the returning viewers, I appreciate your support. Thanks for sus subscribing and commenting. And if you're just now tuning in, I appreciate you viewing the video. I hope I've helped you in some way. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, again, this is Life is, I'm Doug with Life is Shirty. And uh, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter as well. I'm more active on Instagram, so you can see some of the stuff that I post on there, and you can comment and uh, chat with me on there. Uh, I am on Twitter as Life is Shirty, and I am on Facebook as Life is Shirty, but I'm most active on Instagram. So uh, if you'd like to contact me and chat it up about some vintage T-shirts or something, uh, you know, give me a shout. But once again, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And keep picking, and I hope you guys are doing well. Take care.